Cup of Joe and Nintendo is powered by the You, Me, and Capri Patreon. We want to say thank you to some people starting with our Diamond Executive Producers, Slimer Snarf, Lee Navarro, and Jonathan Brown. Also, our Platinum Producer, Robbie Bobby Miller. And then to our Gold Level Patrons like James Johnson, Gene K, Skinny Matt, Ashley Nicholson, Aaron Gropper, Trucker Sloth, Argo, Ryan Turford, Egg Shen, and Sony for Life. Thank you everyone for all of your support. Sean, day one, no hesitation, gonna buy it, NES Legos. Done. Oh, Jesus. I am <laughs> buying that thing. The minute I saw that thing pop up as the leak, I was like, mm-hmm. I want, I need this thing. Yeah. And like, then people are like, oh, it's going to be 260. It's going to be this. It's going to be that. Blah, 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 blah. And all crying, you know, you know how the mm-hmm. internet does. And then it came at a price of 229, which yeah. is like $40 cheaper, $30 cheaper than what people are predicting. And then people are still complaining about it. I'm like, I don't care, man. Day one for me. That's a lot of money, man. <laughs> uh, I, well, see, here's the thing. I used to buy and put Lego sets together. Right. This is it's in the price wheelhouse. Like this is what you mm-hmm. expect to pay for like the bigger sets. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you think about like the Millennium Falcons, like five hundred bucks. Well, you know? that's so funny that you say that because that's the first thought that comes to mind for me was was that these are sort of like these little diorama things, and then you're mm-hmm. talking, yeah, you kind of compare it to like these giant like Millennium Falcon things, these big yeah. ships and everything. So, but they have like the technology inside of it as well, like and that's... also the Nintendo yeah. kind of flair to it and name yeah. brand and everything to it. So. It's basically a console purchase. It's like that's and that's it, and it costs as much as a switch. And I'm fine with that. I don't I even know. care. I don't even. <laughs> I'm not even blinking an eye. It goes up August first, uh, which is a Saturday. It goes up for pre-order, or oh you can buy gosh. it then. They're not doing pre-orders apparently. Mm-hmm. I'm just worried I ain't gonna be able to get one. Uh, the scalpers are gonna be. It's gonna be one of these things that blow out. Now I do uh, in our Discord, uh, Ice Cold Penguin, Teresa. She actually works at a Lego store part time. Yeah. And she was telling me the difference between like Lego and other companies are like Lego, when they put a thing out, it'll be out for 18 months. Mm-hmm. Like you have, you'll be able to find it. Like eventually right. you'll get it. May not be you, you may not be able to find it day one, but you'll get it eventually. So it's good. It's good to know. At least eventually yeah. I know I'll be able to get it. It won't be like the NES Classic that like, you know, nobody could get for six months or whatever. Yeah, well, and it's that, that FOMO that once it sets in, like once it's hard to get, that's what drives everybody crazy. Yeah. So that's a bit, it's kind of like part of the whole secret sauce to it all. Well, and, but I'm not, I'm not surprised you're all over this, Bobby. But, but and Nintendo too, you know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. Nintendo is just, this is a, this is a, such a Nintendo thing. The coolest oh, thing yeah. about it is if you buy the Mario set, which I have no interest in at all, but mm-hmm. now I do, because if you buy the Mario thing and you put Mario on top of the TV, the music starts to play. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah. well, I guess I got to buy Mario now. I wasn't oh, going to. In, in what world do, do we look at something that's like this $230 toy? Not even like the system itself, not even a game or anything. It's just like, it's so optional, it's not even funny. Mm-hmm. And we go, I hope I can get one. Like, they're going to make so much cash. It's Nintendo, like, man. It's Nintendo. Dude, this it's, is, like, it's like so far this not is, even an option for me. This is my virtual console, man. Mm-hmm, this is mm-hmm. like, you know what I mean? Like, well, the thing is, as I say, like, this isn't an option for me. I think about, like, Chelsea and I were just, um, we were talking about our Amiibo collection yesterday, right? Because it's, mm-hmm. it's right by our computer, and yeah, it's yeah. still there. It looks amazing. And I look at that, and I'm like, that was thousands of dollars. Yeah, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it literally is, if not, if not thousands at least a thousand oh i got like thousands here 15 to 20 dollars at a time like oh, yeah. I, I almost don't even want to do the numbers but definitely between that and her skylanders collection yeah like we're talking hundreds Sean, and thousands not hundreds of thousands well i you didn't you don't have every one but i literally have you figure if they were they're up to 15.99 now right yeah so yeah but when i start first started buying they were 12.99 mm-hmm. and there's there's over 100 of them and i have every single one oh uh, yeah yeah i'm not missing a lot of them honestly yeah i'm, I'm really really not well you didn't remember... buy you didn't buy the animal you didn't buy all the animal crossing ones you didn't buy the, oh yeah we did did you buy the monster hunter ones mm-hmm. oh, Actually, you, we had you, the gift, we had the you gifted to, to that's right that's right mm-hmm. uh mm-hmm. i also had some custom ones 
I'm missing um, the one that I really, really got to me is that I'm missing the Golden Mega Man. I have one. that one. I have that, that one. That one. Oh, man. That one is so, so good. I almost missed Golden Mario, but we ended up getting him. Mm-hmm. I don't even remember how we came across him, actually. But, yeah, I'm not I'm, I'm missing too, too much. But, man, I want to I wanna keep going with it. I like the I like that where we're at with Amiibo. Dude, um, I love I, like, I love the Joker one. Mm-hmm. Love the Joker yeah. one. Like, yeah. dude, that, that blue flare, like, come, oh, I pre-ordered both. I got Did both. Did you really? Oh, of They're course. Not, um, the pre-orders weren't up in um, in Canada just yet. They're not wanted... hard. Well, as weird as it is, they're not they're not hard to get. Yeah. Like. Yeah, good. I mean, it's what not like it used to be. Like, oh, I think mm-hmm. part, of, part of it has to do with the pandemic. But they're not hard Maybe. to get. I think just I mean, people, I, cause I just don't think people are aware of it. You know what I mean? Like, they're not really into mm-hmm. it. Like, things are just so in disarray. Yeah, that, you know, if something's gonna fly under the radar, that seemed to be it. You know. Yeah, I think that one's gonna be pretty popular, though. Honestly, yeah. like, Persona yeah. is so huge, and like nobody oh, yeah. gets really—you don't really see anything like mm-hmm. that. That's the whole magic about Amiibo to begin with. Was like, who has like a Yoshi kind of like little toy? I guess Yoshi might be a bad example, but some of these toys you can get. Who has? Like, you never really have any. Who has a Mega Yard Yoshi over there, Sean? Dude, that is one that I—I I was one that I held in my hands. I and I'm know. Like, I can't. I dude, I still. I that think was, was forty bucks. Decision. And it was, I think it was 65. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, it was just like, oh, I can't. It's so big. I'm like, where am I going to put this thing and everything? What are some of the, I like, um, I did that twice with uh, Detective Pikachu. Mm-hmm. And I ended up picking him. I got I him. I got him for my birthday or something like that. Yeah, I got him. So too. he's up there. He's up there, man. Yeah. Yeah. The funny thing is, good with the, the funny thing is, if you remember a long time ago, I used to have this guy I knew named Dave. And we used to compete for uh, for Amiibo. And uh, mm-hmm. we were on a Skype call one night. And I'm importing Amiibo from Japan. Yeah. And I was like, I got <clears throat> the whole Monster Hunter series I imported one night in a fluke. And then I got the Box Boy one. The Box Boy one Box Boy was sweet. never took out of the box. Mm-hmm. It's worth $500 now. Oh, my gosh. Dude. That's the thing. You could probably do some checking right about now just to kind of see where yeah. what some of those are worth. Most and, of them. Uh, most of them I took out of the packaging, but mm-hmm. there's four there's four of them I had that are still in the box. Yeah. Because they have Japanese text on them. And I mm-hmm. I just like the jet. Ja- so I have the Earthbound, I have Ness and Lucas that are oh, still yeah. in the box and they mm-hmm. but those ones I have out of the box too, but I bought them specifically for because that's such a big franchise in Japan and its mm-hmm. its roots are so embedded in Japan. So I had those and I kept them in the box and then uh, Box Boy is still in the box, and then I have the uh, the Rob the Robot Famicom edition still in oh, the box. Oh yeah, oh that's sweet. And that's got Japanese writing on it too. Oh, I think I've got that one as well. But I, I have, have that well, it came later in the United States. I imported yeah. that one first because it was supposed to be yeah, a Japanese exclusive. Because they put the United States one in the United States, and they put mm-hmm. the Japanese one in Japan, and then I guess Nintendo was like, oh, I guess there's some we could double dip here. Which... I kind of wish I kind of wish that they did the more of those eight bit ones like they did for Mario and Link. Oh god, they were so they're good. so great, man. Yeah. And even like the color variants on them as well. But like, what I else? But who? More I mean, I guess maybe a Samus. Samus for cool. sure. And then maybe mm-hmm. maybe Kid Icarus. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, like all <laughs> get a Mike Tyson up in there. <laughs> oh dude, could you not not, not even that? Could you imagine a little Mac? Mm-hmm. Like an eight yeah. bit little yeah. Mac? Like oh, that'd be awesome. Mm-hmm. Uh, just the back of them. <laughs> I would in a minute, dude. I would in a minute buy those. It'd be mm-hmm. fantastic. Oh yeah, you yeah. could definitely do a bunch on that. That was one of the. That was the day, man. That was the days. Mm-hmm. The amiibo hunt and all that stuff going on, man. That was just just the craziness. Well, the, the, craziness. the thing is, I mean, there wasn't a lot of games, and mm-hmm. it kind of like brings me to just where I'm feeling right now with with Nintendo right now, and and I got called out last week, like. Sean, looking a little bored talking about Animal Crossing. Like, first of all, it's 6 a.m. I wake up four minutes before. I knew you were going to bring this up. I knew you were going to bring this up. It's... Shout out to the shout out to people, though, man. I love it. No, call me out. Absolutely. It's, Listen, I'm the like... thing is this. They want you to play. That's what it boils down to. They I'm just. Not, I'm not upset. I'm not offended. They just want you to play, Sean. That's all they're asking. They're asking it. for Uncle Sean to, to open up the box and play the it's game. too late. It's, it's not too late. too late. It's never too late, well, man. Maybe you're right. Maybe it isn't too late because, like, uh, Paper Mario came out on Friday or mm-hmm. whatever it was, mm-hmm. uh, and now what? Nothing. Now what? There's not, and that's so to link it back to the Amiibo thing was like in the Wii U days, it was like, well, there, if there's not any games for me to spend my Nintendo money on, like I'll just go 
fill my shelves with like plastic toys and everything and we we're totally satisfied we just don't have like that old, well, i guess we have a 200 dollars lego set now to go that's, by that's fine that's fine i want to i want to say i want to be on the record i want to say something because you know <laughs> this is true i was scrolling through facebook this morning and mm -hmm. someone has box art cover of uh super mario all-stars 3d edition right? yeah you know, I called that like five five years ago, four oh, years I, ago. Yeah, man. And mm -hmm. like now, everybody's jumping on the wagon. Like, oh, oh, like I literally when we were doing if we ran Nintendo, I called I that. I want to pull it up, man. Definitely, just clip it and pin it to your profile. Yeah. Just, like for the next like six weeks until yeah. that actually comes up, and, and it, just go like, and you look like a totally different person. Yeah. You like it's so long. <laughs> I know, dude. It's, it's I actually had like brown brown beard and. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. but yeah, man, that was. I, I saw that pop up, and I'm like, I would love that collection. I'm not gonna lie, I would love mm -hmm. that collection. I would love to go because I would love to go. I would love to go play Sunshine again. Dude. I've never played Sunshine. That's the, the and I look. I would you definitely look forward to it. You didn't miss much. I don't know, man. I just it looks. No, good. it was janky. It was janky as about balls. The, but maybe I don't know. That's the whole thing. What do you expect them to do? Do you, do you expect um like a fix or just like a nah. this is gonna be. I, like, do you, like, camera I'm controls on 64 and stuff? Mm -hmm. I'm expecting a fix. I'm expecting I them think, if they're going to... should. I, yeah, I don't, I don't see them... Because, look, it, we, you have to look... At, if, if they do that version of it, right? Mm -hmm. If they do, like, the All-Stars version of it, you have to think, number one, they're going to want those games to be in HD, right? Mm -hmm. So they're going to at least up them, do some stuff. Now, there might be a button click to go back and play the original versions, but... I believe that they're going to have to up them and make them look good. Otherwise, yeah. man, it's going to take a beating. Like, mm -hmm. people are going to be like, oh, my God, we're paying 60 bucks for these games all over again. They should be 40 mm -hmm. bucks. It should be 10 bucks a piece. And blah, blah. So they got to put some, you know. <laughs> I love your fan complaining. Oh, uh, you know, because it's <laughs> very true. It's very so true. Good. Well, think about what the original All-Stars was, too. Like, those games... Like in they they did that magical thing of like oh this is what it looked like in my mind like where mm -hmm. like Mario one looked like this like no it didn't didn't yeah. even look even close to that mm -hmm. at all it looked really actually now that I think about it like I really like that art style <laughs> like when we yeah. think about what could come for the next two D Mario if it's not going to be like the new new Mario Please, it's like there's, somebody there's something in those somebody go into Nintendo headquarters right now and just dump a bunch of computer dump, dump a bunch of coffee on the computer that has all those new Mario assets <laughs> magnets like, everywhere <laughs> just kill that thing man because <laughs> that that thing is just trash like I'm mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. and like I'm sure people are like what are you talking like dude legit it's the worst. Like I'm curious, man. Who I actually really prefers it. Not me, man. I the thing is, is did I prefer it the first time I played it? Absolutely. I thought, oh my god, this is amazing, dude. They never changed the style for like four games after that, and it's like, oh, at that's, least. And that's the thing that hurts me the most with 2D Mario is the fact that like it, it was a time where every Mario game got a brand new art style. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They totally I just heard up Yoshi's Island yesterday, like Mario World Two. Yeah, I watched it up last night. I was just like this game. Is gorgeous. Man. Yeah, yeah. And I remember people really bagging on it back in the day too. I gotta say, the, the cartoon style. I, I I was a little upset with your Weedy Gamer cast this week. I listened to. Oh, did you listen to it? And, oh, and I, don't she, really, I she, didn't ever think that you listened to it. What did we say? I don't remember. What she we said. was she was talking about she never played Mario before. Oh, Rebecca from Nintendo yeah, Chef. Rebecca from oh, Nintendo yeah, Chef. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was just like, what? <laughs> what? I know, I'm I like, know, man. No, nah, but it's no. I'm only I'm only teasing. It it, it does blow my mind sometimes when people have never played mario games and i'm like mm -hmm. how like how does that mm -hmm. how does that game of all games just miss your radar you know what i mean yeah. like especially yeah, like what, what, what gap there was no gap in mario games well and not even that like she loves zelda so much mm -hmm. that like it blows my mind to think that like that's the franchise that flies under the radar mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. i it just killed. Like I can see when people say, "Like, oh, I never played Kid Icarus," or "Oh, I never played Mike Touch Punch Out," or sure, "Oh, I never yeah. played Metroid," or "Oh, I never played," you know, the dozen Pokemon, or well, the do maybe not Pokemon, but like a dozen of games that came out, like that just slip under the radar, like F Zero and all that. But like Mario just blows my mind. Like, well, especially just... like I didn't even have a Nintendo growing up, but I played through mm -hmm. 
Mario 1, Mario 2, yeah. Mario 3, Mario World, like, because you just go to a friend's house and, like, you'd have sleepovers and just play through it or whatever yeah. it was. Like, I played all the way through all those games and didn't even own it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, like, you almost did it. You couldn't help but just, like, bump into somebody and, go, and they ask you, you want to play Mario? Yeah. But that's just, that's just the way it was back in the day. It's crazy. It's, it, mm-hmm. it, it is. It's nuts to think that. But I, I, that's no, I'm not throwing shade at all. Like, yeah, no, I for love, sure it's fat. I love Dude, her. I, I, loved, I love her. I love the interview. I thought it was great. But, like, yeah, just it, just, great. it just kills me when I hear that to go, how? How does that get by you? Like, how does that one get by? Like, I know. But I it's know. awesome. It's, it's, it's cool, though, to see that, like. I just look at it almost like this this like weird accidental like test like this lab test of like yeah. what would it be like for somebody yeah. to grow like it like special conditions had to exist for her to like for this to happen it's yeah. like when twins get separated at birth and yeah. you're like how do they turn out it's just like what it was incredible man yeah and it still has a huge love for Nintendo even yeah. though it wasn't like born out of out I of know. Mario I think it's totally like like I said to her like how do you like separate how do you actually look at a Mario game and go like is this good yeah. Without trying to separate out all of your history with it, it's impossible. It's we impossible. all have history. But with she Mario. can. She could just be like, "Boop, I, that game's bad. Why is it bad? <laughs> it's just <laughs> bad." You know what I mean? Like, because it doesn't do this, it doesn't do that. She can compare it. She can. She can cleanly compare it to other platformers where mm-hmm. we can. Mm-hmm. Like everything, every platformer for us gets judged against Mario. Right. That's right. not the case for her. You know. Yeah. Like, is, well, we would have named Lincoln Mario, but it broke the two syllable rule. Like we had, we, it can't be more than two syllables for our kids. So Mario would have been like, he, like that's my preferred franchise. Are you telling right? me that's why? Is that why Ellie's not named Bobby? What, what's wrong with Bobby? Bobby's got two syllables. Oh, 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 Mar- Mario. Oh yeah, Mario. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know. I'm, I'm Jersey man. You Link, know. Lincoln, you know. Lincoln Ellie. Yeah, because it actually came out of um, when we were naming our dogs too, right? They don't want to be shouting off like all these five syllables names or whatever. I can't even yeah, think of them yeah. right now, but that's where it is, man. And no names that end in S. We couldn't do it because people get confused with the like. My, and Lincoln was also almost Miles, which I know you would have loved because Miles Tails wasn't. Was, yeah, Tails the first name from Sonic is Miles, right? Is it like miles per hour? Is it? I'm pretty sure. Oh it's miles, no. no. Is it Miles? I don't know. I'm pretty sure there's a Sonic character whose first name is Miles. If you didn't name that kid Miles, Sonic. we'd have been... It yeah. was close. It was close, man. We really liked it. That's funny. We really liked Miles. That's mm-hmm. so funny. That is so funny. So, mm-hmm. I just... I do want to say this. Like, I'm a little bummed that you decided to record a second cup of, with Garrett Bland. Oh, uh, well, you haven't... You I know. Haven't it, made me reali- it made me realize today, like, what is wrong with me, man? I'm missing out on stuff now. That could have been oh, me okay. and Sean. No, it's fine. It's fine. I'm interested, though. I'm, now I'm interested to listen to it. But I want to know this because there's going to be people that are going to see it pop up in the feed. Mm-hmm. And there's people that are going to watch the video and not know that we do have a feed, that we do yeah. stuff. But what – is it spoilery or is it is it wide open? Yeah, there's no – I didn't record a video. <laughs> I just put the no, audio that's fine. for it. That's fine. Um, yeah, no, there's a the, – the first part of it is completely spoiler-free. We're like okay. this is more of like a review kind of discussion. But mm-hmm. let's like – technical about it it's like a lot of just what we thought about the game uh mm-hmm. we tried to cover kind of like story and and characters and the look of it and, and uh but it's not like a it's not like the formal kind of like second cups that we've been doing so mm-hmm. it's basically like this yeah. what did you think man then we were able to kind of cover a bunch of it was well, so it we go, uh, how long and then at some point we go uh it's just over an hour i think it's an okay. hour hour 15 maybe like it's a we had a great discussion yeah. uh first thing in the morning yesterday and at, at a certain point, which we'll, I'll have in like the notes and everything and like big noises and everything to go, we're now entering spoiler territory. Okay. We have to talk about the ending okay. because this is just something like there's not too many people that I've bumped into that have played all the way to the end. Yeah. And so Garrett and I were like, we were kind of egging each other on the entire time. We're like, I'm at chapter this. I'm at level this. Like, how are you doing? And then finally we got to the end and we're like, we just we have got to talk about this game that. Which was awesome, man. We kind of got to do a little bit of both because yeah. we wanted to talk about certain things about the game and sort of like a re- review spec. But it was like really tough to talk about where you're like, I kind of need to talk about this character and what they did or this new person that you don't meet until later on in the mm-hmm. game. And then we kind of were able to open it up there. So it's That's a bit of like cool. you can shut it off. Yeah. Like at a certain point, go like, I'm not done or I haven't played yeah. yet. But dude, I like it. It, I'm it gonna was listen. so fun. I'm gonna give it was it so listen. fun to talk, talk. I love. I mean, I got to talk to a lot of the guys from. Uh, and people from from Nintendo Shack last little bit. Yeah, Garrett Bland, the blandest of all explosions, dude. The uh, 
yeah, it, I definitely. Now, how do you feel about Paper Mario? Are you jumping in on that wagon, or uh, I don't know. I, I was, I was, and I yeah. see everybody else kind of being a little bit medium on it, and I, I definitely. But Chelsea, like, she just said to me yesterday, she's like, so what are we buying Paper Mario? I'm like, I don't know if we are. She's like, they never go on sale anyways. I'm like, this is the thing about Nintendo games yeah. that is driving me a little bit crazy. Not me. I love it. I love that they don't go on sale. You know why? No, no, not that. Not that. Oh, okay, okay. Not th I, I totally agree. I think that's that part is really, it makes the decision to, to purchase it a little bit easier. However, it makes it almost like you don't even think about it. Yeah. So that... Like and there's nothing else coming out, so you go, well, this is it, so I guess I'll just buy this. And it's not based on the fact of like I'm actually looking forward to it or it looks cool or anything like. That. It's 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 never going on sale, and uh, I, there's nothing else to play. So like the I don't weird, know, man. The weird thing is, is this to me anyway is it's not just Nintendo that's mm -hmm. that's dead right now. Yeah, I mean it feels like all gaming is dead. Like you don't even hear like. Indies coming. Sony's pretty good right now. I mean, that's like just because of, but that's just of Last of Us. And and Ghost of Tsushima came but, out the exact same day. But I mean, it's not, you know, I mean, like, they just had stuff come out. Yeah, I get that. But they'll be dead yeah. for a while. They won't have anything else for a while. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And like, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's these rare, it's these rare pop up games. Like, it's not like, yeah. like, what I guess my point is, is like, prior to this, right? Yeah. We were getting games every week. Like, mm -hmm. big games, a lot of games every week. Like, even the indie scene was, like, pumping out a bunch of games that you would hear about. And it's not even that. It's, like, Nintendo's not even talking about the indie scene. Like, they're not mm -hmm. even talking about... Like, they're, I'm, I know there's games hitting the eShop every single week. But it's almost yeah. like nobody's talking about it. Yeah. Nobody's yeah. saying a word about it. And it's, like... It's, why not? Like, that's kind of what they were there for at the beginning of this generation anyways with PS4 and Xbox One, where, like, there wasn't a lot of games coming out. So it's, like, indies, help us, please, yeah. God. And there are good indie games. I'm gonna do another a second cup on a game called Never Song that I played yeah. uh, over four hours. Like it was, it was a really quick game. Yeah. Terrifying. I'm, I'm still thinking about it. Uh, but like, there's and there's lots of that yeah. to be excited about. But I can get those on anything. Yeah. Like there's a lot of the indie games that I could play on on pretty much anything. Yeah. So I choose to play on Switch uh, mainly just to kind of keep it fired up. Yeah. But I, uh, that's kind of where we're at with it. The Story of Seasons review that I did for the Nintendo Dad. It's like first off thank you if you went and watched it like holy cow mm -hmm. that thing took off um and i know a lot of our community watched it because they're wondering what's next like what do we yeah. do like we're mm -hmm. we love animal crossing what's our next thing and mm -hmm. or what's our break game and and uh, honestly man i'm that game is really really good like and that's yeah. one again popped under the radar just popped up and and People are jumping all on board of it. And like I said, mm -hmm. it was amazing to me to see like the community just wrap their arms around it and be like, hey, let's go let's go find out about this game. So Well, I'm kind of split on it because like as a gamer, I'm mostly okay with it. Because I do look at games like I never got through I didn't even I think I started maybe the first five minutes of Luigi's Mansion. So I can get definitely get back to that. I still have like Mario Odyssey that I can play a ton of and I'm hearing a lot of people kind of going back to that. So I still have things that I can go back to, but like as a like when we podcast it's it's different like yeah. i just feel like there's like the news that comes out i'm like i scroll through and i'm just like this isn't interesting to me yeah. like there's so much stuff that's just like you can you can puff out to whatever an hour or, or even longer in some cases but i'm like this isn't like this isn't really catching my attention yeah. in a big way and i really think that it it's based on like that first party release schedule yeah. and things like that so or even like some sort of i don't know, i guess lego you know what I mean? So it's it's good we can come we can focus on the games that we're playing. Yeah. But yeah, it's just kind of desolate right now. It is, and I mean I guess that's good for me because I yeah, feel like let Animal Crossing ride. Like I'm just riding that game, like like it's broken and I'm just nothing else. I can't get off. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. I I'm still loving it. I'm still building. I'm still doing crazy. Like I've re actually restarted building my whole town, and yeah. like we've turned these streams now into like build streams where. The, the the chat and the community is sitting there going like ah oh, we don't like that try to change this pull that like mm -hmm. I'll, I'll put stuff on and go what do you guys think and they're like oh I love it I love it keep going and I'm like okay and then we'll just start building the theme and like it's nuts it's nuts to me that this is this is where life has led me you know what I mean like mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. this is the path I'm going but I love it though but I oh I love I wouldn't I wouldn't change it for anything in the world man mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. you know we'll see what happens but like man I I I'm, I'm wanting, like, there's a rumor about a direct 
coming up. It's and, got to. And and like, but they're talking like Metroid being in that direct. Yeah. Oh, Zelda God. being in the direct. This we're we're like we're at we're in a desert and you, you start to get delirious with yeah. like you're out of water, you see mirages and everything like that. You're just yeah. kinda like malnourished. Maybe I, yeah. I agree that we're 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 due for like an E three level yeah. type of type of direct. And I did believe that we weren't gonna get anything until Paper Mario launched so that it had its best chance to kind of go get people's attention. And, and now it's a time not, and not have the distraction. Yeah. That's the that's that back and forth that I keep doing, which is you don't want to go, okay, there's another game coming, so don't buy Paper Mario. Yeah. Right? There's another game kind of coming maybe in September or August or something. Well, August. God, God willing. August is the twenty it's the thirty fifth anniversary of Mario. It's there Mario's it birthday. In August. Mm-hmm. I think it's August twenty seventh, if I'm not mistaken. Mm-hmm. I believe we get the All Stars game that month. Yeah. I don't yeah. think it's something they wait for Christmas or none of that. Like Boom! There it is, yeah. Mario's 35th anniversary. I here's my question to you. You have the the 25th anniversary uh, Mario game as well. Yeah, Mario All Stars. Yeah, yeah, Mario All Stars. But did mm-hmm. you also get the console, the Red Wii? Yep. Yeah, it was uh, the, okay. the Wii Mini here in Canada. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. I actually got the Wii, the full. It was a Red Wii, red, red, yeah, red. Uh, red. I'm referring. Oh, that I'm referring one. For a second. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, I didn't get that one. Yeah, no, I got. Yeah, I got the. Uh, I I think if I'm not mistaken, Tony got it for my birthday one year. Mm-hmm. Um, got me the Red Wii. It came with the Wii Mote that was red, the Nunchuck that was red, the, mm-hmm. the 25th anniversary Mario, which was All Stars. Um, Right. Yes. A little while ago, you had mentioned that, and I'm like, I don't remember it coming with anything inside. But oh, it was yeah. a different. It was a totally different thing. different thing. I had a Wii Mini. Yeah. So my question to you though is, did or are do you feel that Nintendo will do a special edition Switch? Oh my God! Yes. Yes. Like, of course. Special edition everything. Do you no? But uh, not that they should. Do you think <laughs> this that is they? Whole series. Yeah, but no, not that they should. Of course they should. But do you think, I they, think they will? Definitely will. Do you really? Definitely, definitely, definitely will. Yeah, I think it'll, um, it'll drive, it'll drive huge sales, huge numbers on that, man. Yeah. I think the limited edition console you got for Animal Crossing was just the starters. Yeah. Like they finally figured out the design, uh, and it looked great. I definitely expect them to do something now. Will it tie into like the console history, like related to those games? Like how do they tie mm. it into the NES or the or the Super Nintendo or anything like that? That'll be or sorry, oh, even sixty four. I could tell GameCube. you exactly how I'd do it. I would make it look so. You should get a game cube. They should have like a game. I mean, both those consoles they have a cube yeah. that the thing can slot into, or the 64. Like, if you take the Joy Cons out of off the off the Switch, that tablet looks like a 64 controller. Yeah. And you just like pop that into something. That would be so awesome. I would love to see like them make like the NES, like make NES Joy Cons, and like make mm-hmm. the console look like an NES. Like right. make the make the dock have like that black bar that goes down it and like mm-hmm. just really uh, yeah, get out of the mindset of just what the dock looks like right now. Just get that like throw that out. Yeah. All you really need is that you it's the USB C and the the connector point and that's it. That would be awesome. Stop what are you it. doing? Stop. What are you doing? Just are you getting it. excited because it's never gonna happen? It's never gonna happen. You know this is just a waste of time and a waste of conversation. This is what we do know, all the time. Well, this is the thing. Some somebody would do it though. Yeah. Like that's. I'm surprised actually. We haven't really seen that where, um, you can you could just like dismantle kind of the the vertical parts of the of the switch and 3D print something yeah. around it. I'm saying this like I know how to 3D print anything, but I'm sure you. Can, I'm sure somebody could. I should get Chelsea on that. She's got a 3D printer. Yeah. She can make that happen, I, dude. I have an idea that I just want to throw at you as we're as we're wrapping up here. Should we do? Listen. We created a show when Nintendo yeah. was in its time of like no games and having troubles and struggles. <laughs> yeah. Should we do a one off live episode, a special edition yeah. of if we ran Nintendo? I wanna I wanna be a jerk and just say no and shut your idea down just to be a jerk, but I love the idea. I definitely <laughs> we should definitely do that. <laughs> like just like you what am I supposed to say? Like, yeah, no, I don't want to. But no, I'm totally kidding. I love. I think that's a great idea, especially like that's kind of where I'm at. Just thinking about it, just, there's not really much that I'm like stoked to go. I can't believe they did this thing. I can't believe they announced this thing. I'm so looking. Like, what am I looking forward to? Right. Yeah. Like that's kind of like the part of of talking about 
Nintendo stuff that I definitely miss. But you and I could talk about like whatever forever yeah. and ever and ever. But I definitely miss the uh, like that that cutting edge kind of thing. So yeah, for sure, let's do a special edition. If how we were would, Nintendo. if we were in Nintendo? How would we handle 2020? Yeah, man. Yeah, next week. I want to do. I want to do, do a special. I, I want to do. We'll, we'll talk about. It. We'll talk about. It. Okay. Anyway, okay. we'll talk about it another time because I got to right, go. Yeah, I got to go. Yeah, no, I got to go first. I already got to go. I'm already. Yeah, I'm already well, going. I'm already going. See you. It's not. It's not me. It's you, Bobby. <laughs> Thank you for listening to a cup of Joe and Nintendo, a production of the You Me and Capri Patreon. If you like the show, you can support them at patreon.com. You Me Capri. A Cup of Joe and Nintendo is available on YouTube, Apple Podcasts, Google Play, and all of your other podcast services. Be sure to follow Bobby and Nintendo Gurus on Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch. For everything that Sean does on the internet, follow him on Twitter, at Sean Capri. Sean like Connery, Capri like the pants. Also, twitch.tv Sean Capri. That is all. Peace out, Preston.